Right, so welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna talk about this tack from Maps King. They sent me this uh, flight controller and ESC to review. And they sent me this propeller as well. So I'll try it out after I have installed the this uh, stack on my one of my quads when you order this one would expect them to be personally i would prefer that they send this assembled a stack one of the things that's taking a lot of time for me to build a quad is to determine the correct length of screws the spacers that i need to form the stack inside the quad and to make sure that it doesn't hit the top plate as well so i already told maps that they should sell these as a stack and hopefully we'll see them in their shop together sold with the screws and all of those fancy stuff so that it will be easier for us to build okay so i'll be using this quad this is my uh, freestyle quad that i use this these were the motors that maps sent previously the sz 2207 1750 kv and I'll be using this quad to try out the stack. I've already removed the flight controller and the only thing left here is the ESC. I have also removed the OG air unit, the big ones, because I plan to install uh, an air unit light here to further reduce the weight. I'm gonna open the flight controller first. This is the SZ F7 Mini HD and analog flight controller. So what that means, it, it's got the chip for the analog quads and it has the connector for the digital air units as well. And uh, it is capable of supplying the power for the air unit, which is uh, usually 10 volts on all the flight controllers uh, that supports uh, the connector. Once you've opened that, it's a sliding cover and inside, let's see what they give us. It looks like there's a sticker here. So let's keep that. That's there. This is nothing else in here. This is just a quality controller pass which means they check the products before they ship them out or pack them wow it's really tiny it's just a 2020 stack stored nicely in this box so let's pull that one out let's put this aside first you have the vibration mounts and the cable connectors after you take them out nothing else is inside the box no pin out diagram or anything it doesn't matter because everything's in the website, but it would be a nice thing to have. They inv included a cable for the digital air unit. This is the only thing that's different in all the other cables that we normally have in our flight controllers. This one has got a small locking latch on top so to prevent the wire from being pulled out accidentally, especially in a crash. They provided with two sets of rubber dampers one is a short one and one is a long one. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, this is the short one here and the a little bit higher is the one above here. Next is we go to the flight controller itself. So it's very tiny. The work on this is looks pretty nice. Usually you can see if you have been if you've seen a lot of electronic chipboards, you can see how well the the factory has made them. It's uh, nicely done. Uh, to describe it sometimes you see the other boards are a bit messy some chips are misaligned it's connected properly but they're not they're not aligned uh, meticulously this one is looking nice all the pads everything is on top and you have a connector for your air unit and on top here you have the ESC stack so it's a USB-C Let's see the specs on this one. So this one is a, a F, an F722 uh, BMI 270 gyro, a single gyro. It can work from three to six S uh, voltage. It's got a BSC of five volts, two amperes, and 10 volts, two amperes. That one is for the digital air unit. So it also has the OSD chip. Usually if you have a digital flight controller, you won't have the this chip, the one in the middle. I'll try to zoom it in post. This is the AT746. If you see that, that one is for the OSD. It's got a built-in black box as well. That's very nice for PID tuning. It weighs 5.2 grams. That we have to check later when I have my 
weighing scale. So I just want to mention here that MEPS uh, sent me these flight controller and ESC without any conditions uh, whatsoever. Good or bad, they didn't say anything. They just sent me this. Review it. That's it. When you buy the bundle, you should have a free battery straps and a cap. I, I didn't get those for some reason. I don't know why, but it doesn't, those things doesn't cost that much, but they didn't send it to me. Yeah, what to do? Anyway, let's go now to the ESC. This is the SZ45 Ampere Mini ESC, which means this is a 20 by 20 mounting stack. While I'm opening this, guys, make sure you hit that like button. If you do like it, and if you press the like button, it helps this uh, video get pushed out to more viewers. And I'm gonna get more views if you hit that like button. So thanks if you are hitting them, like button, press click. Thank you very much. Right, so this is the packaging, and I'm gonna slide. This is the same. They all come with a slide cover. Uh, from their motors to flight controller and now the ESC. So same with this one, it's got like a sticker or a card. This is the same again, a QC card, which means somebody check this box before it will be shipped. Next you have right away the ESC board protected by a foam. And below you have here your accessories. Nothing else is inside by the way. So no, again, no, Pin out diagram, maybe it's not necessary for most because you can also access uh, that data in their website, but it would be nice to have. So they send, they send you the same, uh, the same vibration dampers, one short one and one uh, a little bit longer one, twice the length. They send you a capacitor as well. This is a 35 volts, 470 microfarads and XT60 with the soldered cable. I believe this is gauge 14. I can't see the markings, but this is a gauge for, yeah, it is gauge 14. And they sent connectors as well. Now let's go to the main board. You can see that everything was uh, baked in nicely. On this side, you can observe that there's some kind of a conformal coating. You can see from the reflection that it's glossy compared to this side. Like I've said earlier, they didn't send any Pin out diagram, but maybe you won't. You don't need to because there's uh, markings are there for the connector. This is where your main leads go, and these are the motor wires, and labeled are the motor numbers. So this is again three to six S voltage. Continuous current is 45 amperes. Uh, peak current is 55 amps, which is also the same as the burst current. Can run this at 55 amps for a short period without doing any damage to the board. This is a BL Heli 32, 20 by 20 mounting systems, 4mm hole, and uh, this weighs 9.2 grams as per the website. So that's it. Nothing much uh, else other than to try this. So again, I'm gonna put it on this, uh, my freestyle quad, which has the MEPS motors, and uh, we're gonna try this MEPS propellers as well. I did try to break the MEPS motors. I had some crashes on them, not so hard but they're still alive. I did crash where I completely lost one propeller, uh, including the hub, but the motors are still good. So that's it. So the next thing for me to do is install the stack on this quad and put the air unit. All right, see you.